this video is all about exponential functions so although this um, this uh, problem i'm going to solve it in two ways i'm going to solve this particular problem in two ways although the other way will not fully give you the, the full complete solution of the problem so what we're going to do now is one i'm going to use i'm going to use indices Less. I'm going to use laws of indices to solve it. Another way I will also I'm going to also use Lambert W function to also solve this particular problem. So for me to do this, so now let's begin. But before I begin, I want to thank my viewers and my subscribers. I appreciate you guys i'm happy with you guys thank you for watching my videos and also for subscribing have a blessed day now let's begin now the question is two to two for x is equal to two to four x Two to power x minus x square is equal to zero. So it's just the same thing as saying two to power x minus x to power two is equal to zero. So moving this to this other side, you have two to power x is equal to x to power two. Now I can using indices using indices using indices laws hmm? I can now see now I want to I want to make one part now that is I want to kind of rearrange this thing so that the variables will be on one side while the constant will be on, on the other side so for me to do that I need to multiply. I need to multiply the powers by by one all over the product of these two, these two values, these two product, these two um, powers. Meaning, I need to divide the powers by the product of these two i need to divide the powers by the product of these two so now in order to make it in order to be able to arrange this equation so that the variables will be on one side while while the constants will be on one side so let's begin so 2 to power x all to power all to power 2 x is equal to x to power 2 all to power 1 all over 2 x now if you check now x will cancel out this x you now have 2 to power 1 all over 2 which is equal to this 2 will cancel out this 2 you have x to power 1 all over x now, since we have gotten this, let's, let me rearrange it. x to the power 1 all over x is equal to 2 to the power 1 all over 2. Now, since we have gotten this, now from this expression, you can see that x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 because if you put 2 here, is this two here if you put two here this is two now what i'm doing is if you now by by equivalent 
by equivalent expression. Now, for now, let's. Now, there is also another um, answer that also comes out from this. Now, if you say x is equal to 4, it, can, it will still give you the same thing as this. Now, let's say 4 raised to the power 1 all over 4 is the same thing as 4 raised to the power 1 all over 2 times 1 all over 2, which is the same thing as 4 raised to the power 1 all over 2 bracket open 1 all over 2 using this in laws of indices where you say a raised to the power m times n is equal to a raised to the power m all raised to the power n and you see 1 all over 4 is the same thing as 1 all over 2 times 1 all over 2 so and you have this now, 4 raised to the power 1 over 2 is the square root of 4. All raised to the power 1 all over 2. This will give you square root of 4 is 2 raised to the power 1 all over 2. So you see, it comes back to this. Meaning that x is also equal to 4. x is also equal to 4. Now, let's now solve this problem using um, Lambert's W function, where W, w function of A, A times E to power A, is equal to a now when you look at this you know this expression now this has not fully solved this problem this problem is not fully solved you just now if you look at this problem now if you draw the graph you notice that this problem has three solutions three three solutions but we now what we had was two so now using lambda using lambda w function we can be able to expand sheets and get many other you get you now get the third value so now if you have x raised to power 2 equal to 2x raised to power is equal to 2 raised to 2 to the power x x to power 2 equal to 2 to the power x which is what we have made it to be now now you know this expression here is of two form is of the form when x this expression is of the form when x is minus and also x is plus so x minus and x plus can work is, is possible here now if you square it means either x is minus now that you have minus x or plus x these two condition Will be obeyed here because it's a square of even that is the power is even so on that note on that note let's proceed now what we are going to do is that we'll take the log of both sides now, taking the log of both sides, or I can also proceed with. Okay, now taking the log of both sides, I will now have I will have log. Okay, let me just um, 
let me take this okay no let me not use copy from the um from indexes now let's say i take the natural log i take the natural log of both sides so now i'll just say ln x to the power 2 is equal to ln 2 to the power x now you know the law of logarithm where ln ln hmm, a to the power b is the same thing as b ln a which this expression is just say log a base a, a to the power b base e is the same thing as b log a base e so l l n is the same thing as is express this log 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 to base e is expressed as l n l o n so which is natural law now using this expression now correlating it with this you have two l n x equal to x l ln2 or i can say natural log now you now have from this ex from this place now i want i want the the variables to be on one side why the i want the variables to be on one side why the why the constant will be on one side for me to do that I want to remove these two from this place and I also want to remove x from this other place so that x will go this side go to the left and um, right hand side the left hand side why the constant will go to the right hand side so for me to do that I will divide both sides by the product of the the the, the, variab the variables and the constant I don't need on both sides so now which is two x so i will divide both sides by 2x so dividing both sides by 2x these two cancel out this you have then this one x will cancel out x here you're not you're not left with ln x all over x equal to ln2 all over 2 now ln x all over x is equal to ln2 all over 2 so from this expression you have we now have 1 all over x ln x is equal to 1 all over 2 ln2 so from here now we can express this using the law of logarithm where where a is the same thing as e to the power of ln a so now if we use that this expression we can now write this this one all over x to be e to the power of ln 1 all over x times ln x which is equal to 1 all over 2 ln 2 now this expression is the same thing as saying 1 all over a is equal to a raised to power minus 1 now using this expression you now have e ln x raised to power minus 1 times ln x equal to 
1 all over 2 ln ln 2 now now that means we have ln x dot e to the power ln x minus 1 equal to 1 all over 2 ln 2 now what we would now have this you have this as x so we now have this as ln x now ln x to power a is same thing as a ln x or you say log x to power a base e is the same thing as a log x base e so it's just the same now that is what we're going to do here now that means we are going to write e to the power minus natural log x equal to 1 all over 2 natural log 2 now we want to use i can be using l n or natural log i can just be interchanging them now this place is not the same with this we we'll need to make it the same so that we can now apply the ledamba w function which is w the w function of a times e to the power a equal to a so now for us to do that we need to put we need to add introduce minus so for us to introduce minus we now have minus ln x dot we now multiply both sides by minus not just to introduce minus like that let me just erase this for us to make this minus so that it will be the same with this we will now multiply both sides by minus so we say minus 1 times L, ln x dot e minus ln x is equal to 1 all over 2 ln 2 times minus 1. So I can now say minus ln x dot e dot that is times not dot times e to the power minus l n x equal to minus one all over two l n two having done that we'll now introduce our lambda our lambert w function which is now we'll now add it lambda w function minus ln x dot e to the power minus ln x is equal to w minus 1 over 2 ln 2 so now this will now be equal to from here you see from this expression that means it will be ln x so you have minus ln x equal to w into minus ln2 all over 2 now we have gotten this to be like this now you know you know that let's now put this back into this position or I, I can just make okay or can multiply both side by minus one if I multiply both side by minus one you now have ln x equal to minus w minus ln2 all over two now if I now use these are this ln x is equal to this now, if I now say e to the power of this ln x 
it will still be the same thing of e to the power of minus w minus w function of minus ln2 all over 2. So since this is equal to, since this value is equal to this value, if you say e to the power of this, it should be equal to this. Now, having done that, you know, e to the power of log x to this e is equal to x. Now, e to the power of this value here is the same thing as ln x, which is equal to x. So this expression here is equal to x. So x is equal to e, e is equal to e to the power of minus w minus ln 2 all over 2. So now we, now we have gotten x to be equal to e to the power of minus w minus ln2 all over 2. Now, having gotten this, we can now be able to input this. Now, you know, from here, since this value here, let's say this value is a, since from what from the expression here, since a is less than zero. If a is less than zero, that means you have two roots. But if a is if a is greater than zero, you have one root. So we have two roots, which is w w subscript zero and w subscript minus one. Meaning that the meaning that the result of this this is for subscript zero for subscript uh, minus one x okay let me just for for subscript x minus one okay now this is for subscript zero. Now, for subscript minus 1, x will now be equal to e to the power of minus w into minus 1, comma, minus ln 2 all over 2. So, this is for subscript minus 1 minus e to the power of, to the power, to the, um, of, that is, the, this will be, this whole expression will be equal to this minus w this this is what you key in then it will bring out minus w subscript minus one minus lin two all over two so these are the two solutions so this one is l subscript minus one so x will now be e minus w subscript minus 1 minus lin 2 all over 2. So that is it. Then this other one, this other one will be equal to e minus w subscript zero in of that is subscript zero function of minus ln two all over two this is zero so that is it this is a these are the two this one will give you two this will give you uh, four sorry this will give you the answer for this will be four so, so, but for this, this is a situation where
for this, this is a situation where this value here, this x here, we'll consider it to be when x is plus 1. Sorry, plus x. So now when we consider when it is minus x, well now let's do it when it is minus x. So when we consider that when x is minus, now let's say, so now when x is minus, so you say you have, you have lin minus x, one all over x sorry this is two this is two so that one we consider it when x is Now, you know, you have x square is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, this, we have done the one of plus x to the power 2, which is equal to 2 to the power x, which is the one we did there, which is this, which is this. Now, let's go back to... Let's do when, now, let's now do when x is minus x square equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, this is the same thing. So now, we need to do this. So now, for us to do this, we take logarithm of both sides. So when we take logarithm of both sides, we have 2 log. Sorry, let me use natural log. Same thing, but let me just write it. Let it be consistent with what we did the other time. So ln into why am I so fast like this? Let's take it gradual. Now say so take the natural log of both sides. So and I will not say ln into minus x square is equal to ln bracket open 2 to the power of x so this is it so now now applying the law of logarithm where ln a to the power of b is equal to b ln a so let's now move this two to this other side you have two ln minus x equal to x ln 2. Now you have 2 l sorry what is this? 2 ln minus x is equal to is equal to x ln2. Now I want to make I want to make the variables on one side and the and the I want the variables to be on one side while the constant will be on the other side. So what I will do is that I will divide both sides by the things that I don't want. The things I don't want on this side is two. The one I don't want on this other side, which is the right hand side, is x. So I will divide both I will divide both side by the product of the things I don't want, which is I will divide both side by two x, this side by two x. So if I divide both side by two x, this two will cancel out this two x will cancel out this x. So now we are now left with ln minus x all over x, which is equal to ln two all over two. So that is what we have now. So from all this, we have 1 all over x, ln minus x 
equal to ln2 all over 2. Now, from here now, I needed to add, I need to put minus here and here. So now, for me to put minus here, I will now multiply both sides by minus 1. So if I multiply both sides by minus 1, I will have, what I will have is minus 1 all over x ln minus x is equal to minus ln2 all over 2. Now that is what we have now. Now let me just divide this so that I will use this part to continue. Now I haven't gotten that. I know that according to the law of log reading, if you have something, you say a is the same thing as e to the power of lm a. So now let's use that to change this expression here. So that expression I was just saying ln to the power of minus 1 all over x e. So e to the power of ln minus 1 all over x times ln minus x is equal to minus ln 2 all over 2. So this value here is the same thing as minus 1 all over x. So now, now this expression here is the same thing as saying x. 1 all over x is the same thing as x raised to the power minus 1 according to the law of indices. So now we now have e to the power of ln bracket open minus x raised to the power minus 1 dot multiply by ln x minus x equal to minus ln 2 all over 2. So now we have this expression as ln into minus x times ln times ln ln that is minus ln into minus x because this ln minus ln minus x to the power of minus 1 is the same thing as this okay let me not put it there so that people cannot get confused now let's see continue the way it is so when you look at this, I just rearrange this. I carried, I take, I took this one to this other side, this one to this other side. Uh, let me remove this minus here, so it won't get as confused. This minus one is equal to l minus l n two all over two. Now, if you look at this, this value is the same thing as six. They are all the same. So what I will just do is I will just say ln bracket open minus x times ln. This expression is written as minus 1 times ln minus bracket open x equal to minus ln2 all over 2. Using the expression that e to the power of, okay, using the expression of log, using the expression of log reading, using the expression of log, which states that if, like the way this, this is now, it's just the same thing to say, let's, let's say this is A, you say L N A. Let's say this is B. This minus one is B. Is same thing as saying B L N 
A. You know this, so that is just the same thing. So is this thing I used here? Now, so having gotten this, we now have ln minus x dot e to the power of minus ln minus x is equal to minus ln2 all over 2. Now, you see, this has minus here, but this one doesn't have minus. So for us to make it the same, we we'll multiply both sides by minus 1. If we you, if you multiply both sides by minus 1, we we'll now have minus 1 times ln minus x times e to the power of minus ln bracket open minus x is equal to minus 1 times minus ln2 all over 2. So now this will give you minus ln minus x times e to the power of minus ln minus x equal to this one will now be ln2 all over 2. Now, so from what we have gotten now, we have gotten this looking like Lambert's W function where you have W function of A, E, A times E to the power of A equal to A. So now let's apply the W function now. Now add, if we apply the W function into this dot E to the power of minus ln minus x is equal to ln2 all over 2. So now, having done this, having done this, so a is minus ln minus x. So when I say a minus ln minus x is equal to ln2 all over 2. All over two. So now, let me see if I can squeeze it into the small tiny place. Okay, no, no. This ln. So now there should be w. So now it's supposed to be here. W two. So now, because if you apply the w function here, you also have to apply it here too. So I haven't done that. Now, there is a minus here. So we multiply both sides by minus. We have ln minus x minus ln minus times minus 1 is equal to minus 1 times w function of ln2 all over 2. Now you now have ln minus x equal to minus w ln2 all over 2. Now, if you want to take oh, this expression and this one to the power of as, a, as, an, as an exponential of e, so we we'll say e to the power of ln bracket open minus x is equal, will now be equal to e to the power of minus w ln2 all over 2. See, since this ln minus x is equal to minus w function of ln2 all over 2. So that if you say e, which is the same base, since this is equal to this, so these two, this equation will be the same. Now, if they are the same, using the law of log reading where you have e to the power of ln a equal to a. So the whole of this, a is minus x in this expression here now. So let's now say, now let's say this whole thing now will now be minus x 
equal to e to the power of minus w function of ln2 all over 2. Now, if you now if you now multiply both sides by x, you have x is equal to minus e to the power of minus w function of ln2 all over 2. So now, since the value here, let's say is b, this value here b, since it's greater than, now let's look at it. So you have x is equal to minus e minus w ln2 all over 2. Since x since let's say this is b if a w function on this other side this constant if this value is greater than zero because this value is greater than zero since you have greater than zero it has one root so it's one root that we're going to get from this but this one we had two roots that is we have two roots let me see we have two roots here, where this one is two, this one is four. So this is two roots. So this is two, this is four. Then but for this, we have one root. We have one root. Let me go back. You know, here is minus. So, since just like the expression, what I should, should said there, if a is greater than zero, it's one root. If a is less than zero, it's two roots. So, you see here, a is less than zero. So, it's two roots. So, that is why we have two roots there. Now, but for this one, it's one root because this is this. So, now that is a three point where these things will meet. So now, but let's solve it. Let's calculate it out. Let me just write down these values. Let me write it down so that um, we'll now input it to calculate our values. We calculate the values. So now, The other one you have e to the power of w minus ln two all over two. So it's just the same thing, only that this one has minus, this one has. Now let's go back to. Um, let's go to. Let's go back to this. Now let's look at um, okay, there's no network. Okay, is not talk now. Now let's look at this. Let's solve it here now. Now it's e to the power of minus Lambert W into minus ln2 bracket close okay before i close that i need to divide by two so 
this is the one for this one will give us two this one the answer is two you see is two see you see this one gives you the root as two so which you see in the index we got two two so now now let's now do for you know this one since here is minus since inside here is minus so we have two roots so now we now need to this one is for w subscript zero so for w subscript minus one i will just put i will just input minus one comma in this expression this one will give us four enter let's see so this is four so you see see the way it is written so that is it so this one gives us four now let's look at the other one that you don't have this whole place is where this place is positive then here you have minus here so this will be the other third root and the other third root is minus 0 0.7667 let me see let me be sure okay that is it that is it 0 0.7667 okay so that is it thank you for watching have a nice day thank you for watching have a nice day please also do well to also subscribe some subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that each time i make a new video you'll be the first to see it thank you and also do well to share the video Thanks.